Thurston three years ago to launch Vector One Media, a mission-oriented global online geospatial publication that promotes application of geospatial tools for the stewardship of our planet. Take it away, Matt. Great. Uh, mine, mine was the longest title, and I, that's probably bad known for a short format. Uh, but U City is what we're going to be talking about. And this deals with the future is happening somewhere. What is U City? The U in U City stands for ubiquitous, ubiquitous high speed internet connectivity. And it's a template. There are 20 such cities that are happening in Korea that tie in with Korea's green growth initiative. Nissan Go is the, by far the largest of these. It's uh, 1,500 acres. It's, being, it's taking place in a reclaimed industrial area, and it's well on its way to have 250,000 residents by 2015. And blazing internet speed is one thing that, that's happening here. Cisco is inventing two, investing $2 billion to create this. The WiMAX backbone for this is going to have computing speeds or internet speeds 100 times what we get here commercially in Colorado. Connected living, it's not, it's not, it's about interior space and exterior space. We have, well, have panels, they have panels to look at things like lighting and energy use. And then externally, they can connect to the community, see their own records and access services from the city. Telepresence is a big part of this. Um, Cisco's really perfected this. I don't know if any of you've seen a telepresence room. It's really high speed, high definition with cameras. And it's as if you're talking to the person in the same room. Um, and it's really the next step of uh, social media. Very detailed models. The CAD and GIS are connected here. This group has been working with the Open Geospatial Consortium along with others to connect sensors and models. And they've come a really long way. It's a common sp spatial framework for all the city services. Everyone's working on the same model at all the same time. Spatial analysis with such a model is going to be incredible. It's going to be so much more efficient. And then it's going to really empower the citizens, too, for feedback and particip participation and kind of future planning and what happens with the city. Sensor fusion here is a, a, a scenario where all these CTVs, RFID, uh, GPS and location, weather sensors and infrastructure sensors are all coming together into one area and feeding those. And it's very much a um, uh, happening in in kind of a, a scenario where all the details are coming in one central place. They have all this information, all this information is being fed in a central area. So they can do with day-to-day problems, but also future planning. Energy and renewables is a big part of this, centralized heating and cooling. Um, the smart grid is a part of it now in terms of how they deliver electricity. But you can also view and see your use in real time and help you drive down your own efficiency. Transportation, it's, it's central hub. It's only 15 minutes away from the airport. Subway connectivity, but it also intelligent traffic management. Sensors in the roadway are feeding um, LED signs that, that transform and send messages as you move along. Water is a big part of this. There's saltwater lakes. There's also a canal system. <coughs> Electric um, ta water taxis move people around. Great water integration. They're using stormwater storage here. And then waste, 70% of the construction waste is being recycled. And here's a really interesting thing. They're using pneumatic tubes to move liquid and solid waste around so that there are no um, garbage trucks traveling around the city. Really focused on efficiency. Sustainability is a big mindset here. All the lead, all the buildings are lead um, energy efficiency. Lead neighborhood development is being utilized here. Walkability and movability is a huge part of it. 40% of of the area is all open space, and it's really focused on reducing the footprint, <coughs> reducing carbon emissions, and creating a very livable space and very green space. Open systems and services is a big part of it as well. All these <coughs> services are things you can you can take a look at traffic, see how traffic's moving along, see where a parking space is, check out crime prevention, check out your health records, and even the environment see how your city and yourself are doing against green goals. And it really requires this mobile engaged and engaged citizens. 81% of Koreans are on the internet. They've passed 100% in terms of mobile use. A lot of people have multiple devices. You've probably seen some of these examples here. And it probably leads to this new democracy. I'm really excited about what this open systems, transparency, and participation might lead to. Everyone's going to be more messy in what's going on. And you'll have this direct feedback and build a better community. So all this con connectivity. There are really a lot of opportunities.
changes with this space. So there's new possibilities for a holistic approach for an enterprise GIS. And all these vendors are really invested in it now because the connectivity, the sensors, and the systems are going to lead to the next generation of computing demand. Thank you.